Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. So this game is um, what it says basically. It's, um, it's a game about uh, building and then performing rescue missions. But it's also sandbox. So you build your own vehicles and um, you have a, a base where uh, like a head headquarters where, where you operate and then um, if you are playing career mode then you extend uh, your organization let's say like uh, you you would um, have the opportunity to buy new um, installations and you will be able to have access to more technology so there's research you research uh, certain parts, certain technologies, and then you can build bigger and uh, more powerful vehicles and also different kind of vehicles. Uh, you have boats, you have uh, land vehicles, you have uh, also helicopters, I think planes you can also build. But what I really like about this game is that um, it's the theme of the game is uh, rescue so this is not uh, a shoot em up game uh, here you don't go around killing people or destroying stuff this game is more about um, helping others and also it brings me some memories of my childhood uh, because it reminds me of uh, Thunderbirds the TV show I really liked that show for well, a long time <laughs> since it was aired. So let's get into it. We will start a new game in survival in career mode. So in this video we will cover a little bit of the basics of building vehicles <clears throat> and then we can uh, perform a mission. So we start in a small base, this uh, character, you can customize your character. Here we are, we start in a small base in the middle of the sea. And the weather is a big part of the game, so currently we have a lot of wind and the wind can be really bad it creates like this giant waves okay so there's already a mission available so i will load uh, something i prepared here let's load the the boat base and this is what i i prepared a small boat now this boat um has currently a propeller and a rudder to control the direction of the boat and it has a driver seat here uh, at the front it has a connector later i can explain what that does basically it's something to enable you to connect to other vehicles nothing else and uh, yeah and that pink um, block is the center of mass now the center of mass is important in this game uh, for for example propulsion so you want to align your center of mass with the propeller because if in this as assist uh, in this case if the center of mass is um, tilted or shifted, I, I should say, um, compared to the um, to the propeller, then uh, it can tilt your boat. So in this case, uh, it will this um, layout. If we don't do anything, and if the propeller would have power, currently it cannot have power because we don't have engine. But if um, if it would uh, have power, then 
it will apply a torque to the ship and it will tilt it downwards so the front will tend to go downwards so if the if the center of mass would be higher and above the the propeller it will tilt it upwards so let's build this ship Ah, by the way, if we, I want to explain something here because there's a problem with this boat, and that is that if I spawn this boat, the problem is that it won't, it will, it will sink, and the reason is because water will get into it, because when you spawn it it's like thrown into the water ah what did I do let's spawn it okay yes we spawn it and you see that the boat is dropped and it and water gets into it ah I spawned two ships <laughs> I didn't saw the first one okay so let's By the way, these marked blocks that you see here is uh, they are weight blocks, so they they give more weight to your boat. And as you can see, I've placed them mainly under to form this keel here, and the keel gives stability to your boat, dragging um, yes the weight downwards. And okay, but before the the engine I will I want to place right away the gearbox because the gearbox will let us control the the propeller with different gears okay there okay and now we should place or Or engine just in front of it so there we go and now we have to connect the 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 power through pipes so here we have pipes an angle pipe and each each um, component costs money right so you will invest money building ships or building vehicles and also you will spend money um, making research okay now if we take a look at the engine it has several connections and this uh, here in the in the in the building parts menu we can see the connection it has so it has a power connection that we already took care of it then we have uh, five fluid connections one is air air has to come into the engine because uh, the engine needs uh, oxygen to burn the fuel also the engine needs fuel so it has a fuel connection and the combustion of the fuel will generate co2 so we need an exhaust for that and uh, also it has two additional connection for a coolant for coolant uh, fluid so that would be connected to some heat um, radiator and uh, it needs also an electric connection so this is the other thing we need we need batteries and we um, will place them soon enough but let's let's first take care of the of the connections of the engine so uh, we need a fuel tank this is what we have here fuel tank 
I'll place it here. And the fuel should be connected to one of these to this one I think to this connection so you have to take care I, I haven't uh, seen um, how can you uh, discern between di these different connections but there's an example uh, arrangement of an engine and there I see that the this is where the fuel comes This is where the air has to come in. Uh, this is exhaust and these are the coolant connections. Okay, so for the, for the air intake, well for all of them I will just place a straight, a straight enclosed uh, connections. These are also like pipe connections but this will prevent uh, later i will close this section so water cannot come in here so there we have it the other thing is that for the air i have seen my experience is that it's convenient to have it some some distance uh, high I think that's high enough perhaps because if it's too low if you put both the, the air intake and the exhaust if you put it too low uh, water can come into it and it could make your engine drawn or um, how would you call it um, like the engine won't work properly of course and this is the the exhaust here the fluid exhaust oh, it's uh, somehow somewhat expensive this exhaust so there we have it so the the smoke will come out there let's now connect i guess we can we can do everything with uh, with this enclosed um blocks because then um, we can just use it use the space there to build something else okay there we have it we need those connections up there I, you will soon see what 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 is the purpose of this of this connection and yeah everything would be a close connection an enclosed connection I should say and then this one is just straight this one and that's it there we have it so now we can just uh, close this the radiator uh, what we're missing now is the radiator well the other thing that we need is uh, batteries probably I will place maybe two batteries there let's see batteries there we go. One here. Well, it has happened to me that I run out of batteries. So this is not nice at all. And we have um, to keep like um, some symmetry there, right? So it looks good. P 
probably what we are missing now. So this boat um, would be multi-purpose. So with this boat we can just um, we can rescue people, but for that we we need to uh, place seats on it. Uh, we can also transport there there are also missions where you have to transport mm, boxes equipment and stuff like that so um, yeah the, the idea maybe you could have like a a multipurpose vehicle that will you will uh, like uh, modify make uh, small modifications to adapt it to whatever mission you you, you um you happen to run into this is one way of the, doing it I think this is a way to do it when uh, you are um, starting the game right that you don't have so much money so you have this multi-purpose vehicle and the other way is to have a specialized vehicle that you can spawn for each mission but uh, yes this I guess this will require um, resources will require you to have more money and also technology okay so this is looking good um, the reason why I have this uh, open here is because we need to be able to fill the tank the fuel tank with uh, fuel of course and for that we need a flu fluid connector and it's used to transfer fluids to fluid connectors will, will attach when they are within close proximity when connected fluid will flow freely between the connection the connectors and you can have uh, you can have a connection to release the that's always a good idea to release the connection so this I'll put it here like that uh, there are two types of buttons in the game you have the push button and the toggle button the toggle button keeps uh, like a state it can be on or, or off but the push button is always off and, and it sends a signal like when you press it it sends a signal like a, an on signal and then turns off again so this is good for uh, for the release of the of the fluid connector so I was uh, looking for uh, a, a game uh, where I could build boats because this was after playing Subnautica I, I really enjoyed that game and and there I feel like there are really few games that deal with uh, water so one of them is uh, from the depth I think and this is um, this is um, a good game, uh, but I, for me, uh, I felt that this game was uh, too complicated. And this also the other thing is that the, this game is like focused on uh, PvP. Uh, It's like a PvP game, or uh, it's meant for uh, pl uh, multiple players shooting themselves up, and uh, this is not really my cup of, of tea, I would say. I'm not so much into that type of games. Uh, I'm I'm more like uh, of, I like more like uh, games like uh, Space Engineers or even Subnautica uh, I think this is 
what I would say. So I uh, some time now that I found this game, but I didn't have the I don't know if the time or, or the patience to try it out. Driver seat. Yeah, let's place it here. There. And there. Okay, that's good. That's it. There we are. So, this is the driver's seat. The driver's where is the radiator? There. Fluid heat ra radiator. So this can go... Yeah, basically. It can go like that. And then just yes, I don't want it to take space. That's good, and then the tubes. Just some tubes. We can have it with simple tubes. There we are. So I guess this is um, all we need here. Additionally, uh, we will need uh, some. We will need ladders because sometimes it's hard to enter the boat without the ladders. And there are these ladder blocks that will let us um, enter the boat. There we are. Okay, I think that looks nice. And we can have some seats in case we need um, to rescue someone Where are the seats? Ah, here. Here are the seats. Yes, now comes the, the fun part, like the, all these connections. Connections. So the first thing we need is to be able to turn on the... I don't know if this would work. Yeah. Let's power things up. So we have the batteries. The batteries can... We can have one battery for the... For the engine. 
and the other batteries the other battery to um, power everything else and then the data we have this push button where we can release that one um, I would like to have a button for the engine that's a push button so we need to place it here that will be for the engine with this we can power the engine on uh, so the seat has some data ports one is uh, the, the one is binded to the A and D keys and uh, this I want to connect it to the rotor that you see here has a data in port to take input and uh, for the throttle I will bind the WS for the throttle of the engine and we can we can shift gears with the up and down keys and connect that to the uh, I don't know I know sorry not that but a hot key right with a one the one uh, we could connect it to the to the gearbox. I don't know if that would work. Let's see. there this is more useful than having the than having the key binding in creative it behaves differently it, if you play creative things work in a different way and you can have like these really simple vehicles where you don't have to connect stuff with uh, with uh, pipes and where you can I, I think that this uh, driving uh, this binding of the of the throttle is different in creative but here Here it seems that um, that it's better to have the, the throttle. So the throttle, you can um, power it up or down. So we have to power it, let's say 17. We turn on and you see that it, I have more control over the, the speed of the, of the there we go so we have a really strong wind let's throttle it a little bit down so there you have it guys and we have smoke coming out of the of the exhaust <laughs> Oops, so this is what happens when we go underwater. I think the, the look at the engine, the engine is uh, slowed down and there's no smoke coming out of it anymore. So you have to be careful. Now again, 
Now it's picking up again. I think this happens because of the of the water coming into oop again. And this because we have big waves. It drowns the the engine. Weather is a big part of this game. It's a big, big part. So let's um, power it down because we are entering the hangar again or the ship shipyard. Oh, okay. There we go. Can turn it off now. So that's it. I think for this episode. I hope you liked it, and I hope you. Um, you come to the ne or next video. We should uh, perform a mission. Okay, so this is Cyber Settler signing off.